And we start with the breaking news that came down just over half, or, half an hour ago. Mayor Byron Brown's attempt to get on the November ballot after losing the Democratic primary to India Walton just hit another roadblock. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. That defeat is not the end of the line though, as we hear from Two on Your Side's Dave McKinley tonight. After his loss to Walton in the June Democratic primary, Mayor Brown, while organizing a write-in campaign, also sought to be placed on the ballot on an independent line. The problem? State law, as amended in 2019, when primaries were moved from September to June, which also moved the deadline for filing independent nominating petitions to late May. A judge here ordered Brown's name be placed on the ballot after Team Brown convinced him that that part of the law was unconstitutional. Walton's team, in seeking to overturn that, brought the case before this panel of appeals judges where their lawyer said it was pretty cut and dry in his mind. You want to run as an independent? You can. You want to run as a Democrat? You can. You want to run as both at the same time? You can. They chose not to, and now they're trying to get the court correct that political misjudgment. One of the justices challenged Mayor Brown's lawyer, raising the point that the Walton camp often has. I mean, Mr. Brown could have easily complied with this deadline if he had any intention of running independent line. And he indicated that while it Somebody wouldn't necessarily to, result in a ruling unfavorable to Brown. We are not legislators. And explained that striking I, I down a law duly passed by the state legislature is a tall order. It's not something that we do willy nilly. And so there has to be a strong constitutional claim here. And you've, you've made a lot of good arguments, and we'll take a look at them to see if they raise to that level. In the end, the justices ruled uh, they I, did I not also, and reversed that order, which granted Brown ballot line status, ruling in favor of Walton's camp. There is, however, a federal court case still to be resolved. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.